on inside elevation. Um, you may have an outside elevation option here too if you have zones on both sides. Um, that gives you your elevation off of it. And attributes of the wall. We'll pop in here. Wall or construction line, you can change it right here. So if you've already got it designed out and it's a wall and you needed a construction line or it's a construction line and you needed a wall, you can just come into attributes and change it. Placement inside, placement outside, that's our zone. We're just going to put an outside placement on there so you can see what that does. You can change your wall length, your thickness, and your height in here. You can also come in here and do wall material. Um, and these are the NKBA standards for wall materials. They give you that, you know, the look of the either the, you know, whatever, stud wall or whatever. Texture in here. If you need a separate texture on each wall or just on this wall, come in here and click Special, Select. Put whatever you want on it. Let me put wallpaper on that wall. Ooh, pretty wallpaper too. There we go. Now remember we turned on a, a placement zone on the outside. <clears throat> so we now have a zone here and a zone on the inside. I'm going to delete this guy real quick. Because he is actually not part of my process here. <clears throat> so and this is the rest of our zoning. So anything I place in, inside this zone, between the zone and the wall, it's going to snap up against the wall, fit just like it's supposed to. So we're ready to start designing. To get going with, first thing I'm going to do is place my window. So I'm going to click on Windows, and Windows, and there's a lot of options in here. I'm just going to choose this guy, Window Without Grids. There we go. Once he's up in here, if I hold down my left mouse button, I'm sorry, my right mouse button, and move my mouse, moves my window. Just so you know, fun little feature. Place, we come out here. Now normally, I'd roll my mouse right up over here and place it, but remember I told you if I place anything between here and here, it's going to snap in where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to place it right out here, and it places right against the wall. Just going to drop it there. Opens up this uh, window again as soon as you drop it. That way I can place another one if I need to. Don't need to, so I'm going to hit cancel. I do want this window centered on the wall, so I'm going to right click on the window. Come down and I'm going to choose the window. I'm going to choose center. Click on the wall. And there we're centered up. You notice my mouse is still across here. If I just do a single left click, my grid, it'll change that out. Now we're going to come in here and change my catalog. Come on. Just going to come down here to my sample catalog. And sample catalog, base cabinets. I like to start my base cabinets. And so we're going to come down here. I like to start in the corner. So I got to look. I'm not used to working in this small of a screen. Um, base corner cabinets. Here we go. Base corner cabinets. And we want square corner base. And square corner super Susan. Here we go. And you'll notice it kind of got off down here, so you can use your scroll bar to come down. If you need to make that a little bit wider, just move your mouse across here, stretch that out however wide you need it, we'll make it nice and big. Come down here, and we'll start with this guy. Just going to drop him out here, lefty right there. You get a little message that tells you we're starting in our sample catalog, so I'm going to confirm it. Now I've, I've dropped this one from my list. If I wanted, if I didn't know what, or if I knew what the nomenclature was, I could click on my find. And I can come in here and I could type in SS. We need to get the second item typed in, second character. It'll bring up everything that it can find that starts off that way. As you continue to type, it narrows it down 
and we just want the 36er here in the right. I want to go back to my catalog, close that guy, square corner, base corner, because that's all my corner cabinets. I'm not going to set any more base corner cabinets. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to grab a base. Um, let's grab a base 9, drop it right about here. And grab a base 18, drop it right out about here. And now we're going to play with some more features. Okay, drag. Just drag right down the line. It doesn't matter where you're at out here. It's just going to drag it up and down the placement zone. If I do a single right click, it tra changes the drag feature to in out. I can in out that to wherever. If I do a single right click again, we're back into drag. Right click in out. Left click to place. Gonna right click on her again here. Move. And again, move. Now if I have, you'll notice I have a crosshair on my mouse. Single right, single left click. It's going to place the cabinet with my mouse. I can drop it anywhere at this point. Now right click again and we'll go to rotate. Pretty self-explanatory there. There we go. Right click again. And we're gonna go down. We're gonna go back to move. And I'm gonna do a left click so it attaches. Now I'm gonna do a right click. I'm still a move. I'm going to do a right click and that takes me straight into rotate. Kind of cool. Right click again. 45 degree clockwise. 45 degree counterclockwise. If I just move my mouse here, hold down my left mouse button, I can drag this around. Now this move is a pretty rough move. You know, it's not going to... It's... This is designed to basically get stuff in and out of the way without having to go into a menu. Up, down. <clears throat> if I wanted to up, down this, just right click up, down. Um, you'll see we've got a top and a bottom measurement. Top measurement, this is going to be from the top of the cabinet to the bottom of the ceiling. Bottom measurement from the floor to the bottom of the cabinet. In this case, we can just come in here and type in what we wanted. I want to keep it zero because it's a base cabinet. And I want it on the floor. Center, we've looked at that one. Position, move this guy back over here. Okay, we'll use position now. Say I want to place this cabinet, or say I want to put um, up here, I've got 29 and something, seven, eight. Say I need a, enough room for a range. So I can come down here to position. Click on the uh, cabinet I want to position it away from. Come up here, delete through that, type in 30, enter on my keyboard, and now I've got 30 inches. Right click on this guy again, come down here, snap. I'm going to skip fit for a moment. We're going to look at it, but I want to do snap first. Snap. If I want to bring, uh, if I want to fill the space in now, sucks that right over. Oh, we're just going to drag it away just a little bit here. You know what? Let's use position. That is, after all, what it was designed for. And make this 13 inches. Got a little 13 inch space here now. Darn cabinet. Let's do the. Let's do. Running out of room in the bottom of my screen here for some of these features. What did I do? Uh, yeah, copy replace. Okay, let's do it this way. This will make a little more sense. <clears throat> Base 15. Say I need to fill this in here. I could put a 12 and a filler in, but maybe you have a manufacturer that will do a base 13 for you. So. Base 15, oh, it doesn't fit, puts it off here in the next available spot. If I right click on it, 
go to fit click up here it fits that base 13 base 15 into a 13 inch hole be very careful with this people because if your manufacturer does not make this cabinet you're going to get a base 15 actually if you just order it like it is you're going to get a base 15 because you'll notice it still says base 15 so you actually you know you probably want to use and it's not going to uh, change your pricing for this so you probably actually want to use um, go to attributes set the modifications for it we are going to just delete this guy there we go and come back here and what else do we got we've got copy we've got replace pretty self-explanatory delete um, add to group is still in there which you can't see we'll come up here here we go add to group um, this allows you to create a group this is not a, definitely not a basic feature so we're kinda gonna skip this change catalog if you've got a copied catalog because I'm in sample catalog now I've copied it I have a sample one I can pick something and I can move it over to a sample one catalog that will allow me to set a separate set of global specifications for it and that way I could do say that little base 18 up there maybe I want it to be a different wood species a different color something like that I can I can do that this way by changing the catalog and setting it with a separate set of um, attributes and then attributes we'll look at this real quick here um, general attributes you can come in